YouTube. Today I'm going to be reviewing a brand of makeup that I have just recently discovered and within that brand a line of products that that brand makes that I have been reviewing for the last couple of weeks and really been enjoying kind of trying out. So the brand I'm talking about is Jordana as I'm sure you can probably tell by the title of this video but within Jordana I have been reviewing and checking out their easy eyeliner pencil for eyes and I absolutely love these. I got these for about $1.99 so they're super inexpensive. They kind of remind me of like the elf of Walgreens because they're inexpensive but there's little gems within the Jordana line that have great quality for the price. And so I picked up four different colors and in general I, I love these. I love how creamy they are. They're really easy to put on. Um, they The pigment is, for the most part is really really nice. But they do vary. The thing I don't like about them is that they do vary depending on what color. So I'm going to be reviewing kind of the separate colors and telling you how they have worn for me. The first color I picked up is Eggplant. And on camera it seems like a dark brown, but it is a very deep plum. And I have to say, out of all four colors I got, this is probably my favorite um, color and quality. It's super creamy, goes on really, really easily. I'll Go ahead and swatch, it's got this thing for you. So like I said, it looks almost like a brown, but it is a very deep plum. But it goes on super easily. It just really blends right into your lash line, so it's really easy to give yourself a little bit of an interesting pop of color. Um, it stays on, this one probably stays on for me the most out of the four colors, and it's probably because I set the inner corner with my Lorac, I think it's, a, it's called dark purple color. And that helps a lot. Um, it just happens to match this eyeliner perfectly, so I just go ahead and set it with that. But it doesn't smudge. Um, so the one other color that I have kind of smudges. This one doesn't smudge on me at all. I love the color. I love the pigmentation. So the second color I picked up is Mint. And it's a very beautiful, like, aqua, minty color. Perfect for spring. I was really excited to try this underneath my eyes. And I was hoping that it would be as opaque and creamy and pigmented as the eggplant one I picked up. I'll go ahead and swatch this on my hand. And on my hand it looks gorgeous, just almost like the color in the um, packaging. But underneath my eye it seemed a little bit more translucent than the eggplant, uh, not as opaque. I was hoping that it would kind of have a white undertone so it would really pop underneath my eyes. And it didn't really turn out like that um, as I thought it would. But other than that it's super creamy, doesn't smudge very easily, and as far as the price goes I'm okay with the color. It's just not my favorite one. So the next color I'm going to talk about is Blue Divine, and I featured this in my Get Ready With Me 4th of July style video, and I wore this on my waterline underneath my eye, and I love this color. It's gorgeous, gorgeous navy blue. I'll show you what it looks like, and I'll swatch it for you. So right there, gorgeous, opaque, creamy like the rest of them, um, and I wore this on the actual 4th of July um, and put it underneath my waterline, on my waterline and underneath my eye a little bit. And the only complaint I have about this one is that towards the end of the day, it did kind of settle into my lines underneath my eyes and just kind of smudge a little bit. Um, I think it's because it's one of the darker colors and so when it does smudge, you can tell a lot more than you know, the mint color. But other than that, I love it. Again, I wore it for like 12 hours so I don't really blame it for smudging at that point. It was hot and humid outside. Um, so yeah, that's the only downfall to this one I can see. So the last color I picked up is in sea green, and it's a really pretty emerald green. And I've actually never owned an emerald green eyeliner before, and you can see right here, super pigmented and again, gorgeous. Um, I love this color. I thought it'd be really interesting to put this on my top lash line to line my eyes kind of like I have with the plum, um, or the eggplant one. And I wanted to see if it just gave an interesting pop of color. And it looks gorgeous on, really easy to put on. The only thing I'll say about this one is that out of all four, whatever reason, this one is probably the softest um, and most creamy. So it also transfers more than the other ones. I wore this to work the other day and I worked, I think it was an eight hour shift. So by the end of it, I went to the bathroom and discovered that somehow it had gotten like a perfect line on my brow bone, I guess from when I opened my eyes and it just kind of smudged there. So it transferred almost completely like a line right there. So I will say with this color you do need to set it with a emerald green powder. I don't have an eyeshadow this color. 
um, like I do with the eggplant one. So I really want to give this a fair chance and set it with that before I make a judgment. So overall, I really do love these eyeliner pencils. I think Jordana is great for the price um, and the quality that you're getting for the price. I love the fact that there's a huge variety of colors. I probably actually will go back out and get some more colors because uh, there's such a selection. I have not tried the black or the brown, like the normal eyeliner colors, but I will say that I don't think this, I would call these long wearing eyeliners. I don't really recommend going out in a pool or in super humid weather with these because the only downfall to a lot of these colors is that they do smudge. Um, but I think that if you were to set these with the eyeshadow similar to the color, that you would get a lot more long wear use out of them. So, but overall, I love the color, I love the creaminess of them, and I love how well they go on. And I really do recommend you guys going out and trying them for yourselves and trying all the different colors. So if you really like this video, please give it a thumb up, thumbs up, and if you have any other products that you'd like me to review, please leave it in the comments below. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks.